Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to use the new NVIDIA app. Now, this app is still in beta, so do not be surprised if you have any issues with it. But yeah, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to use the app perfectly. And yeah, stay tuned into the end because I'm going to show you how to use it. So the first thing that you're going to want to go ahead and do is go ahead and go into the description and click the first link that I'm going to have pinned in the description or in the comment section, it's going to be the link straight to the app, the NVIDIA app. And all you're going to want to go ahead and do is just download it or just search up NVIDIA app and all you're gonna want to go ahead and do is click the first one and make sure you click download beta right here but make sure it's the first one and go ahead and just click download beta and all you're gonna want to do after you download it is go ahead and open it and run it so basically after it's downloaded all you're gonna want to do is click nvidia app beta download and then just click yes right here and then it's going to go ahead and run now sometimes this takes a lot longer than other for some other computers depending if you have other nvidia apps installed so if it does take a long time all you're going to do is click agree and continue and just go ahead and sit there for like five minutes just do another task until it downloads and then you should be good so once you download and install nvidia app this is what it should look like right whenever you open it now you don't actually have to log in anymore because this app is a like basically you can get any nvidia app like this is basically like the main headquarters for nvidia apps now but remember it's still in beta so don't worry if you have any issues you could just go back to whatever app you were using it doesn't really matter i'm going to show you guys basically some of the most important things like down here to the discovery page you can go ahead and get geforce now or any of the nvidia apps that are that nvidia has created you can go ahead and download them all here but the first thing that we're going to do is go going to do is go to settings and basically in system over here it shows basically your operating system all of your all of your stuff that you have and one of the main things that i'll make sure you to have on is make sure you have the nvidia overlay on and for game filters and photo make sure you have this on as well now for drivers down here i would definitely have this on just so that way it automatically downloads the drivers even though it doesn't install them because it still lets you i believe choose what installation path you want there's notifications i just have these on too for when there's new driver updates and then uh you can opt in for access of early builds of this and then just really this does this doesn't really matter but um yeah i would just have this off because you don't really need to send information and then over here you can redeem you know codes and stuff that you want but let's go ahead and get to some of the main important things well first let's go ahead and come over here to drivers okay so over here to drivers if you haven't updated your gpu drivers it's always important as everybody should know when first getting a pc is to always update your drivers you know make sure you do it um and you can also just reinstall them through here all you got to do is just click install click express installation and then click okay basically and it'll just automatically download the game ready drivers and make sure that you download the game ready drivers and not the studio the graphics now this is going to be the most important slide of the whole program is definitely this one so if you want to come over here let's just say fortnite right you can come over here and just slide it to literally whatever right you could just slide it to performance which will automatically lower literally everything so you know how it says 100 tsr low so tsr is on low right it'll have this off full screen low unlimited fps this is all global right low latency mode is on ultra um but this is only for a certain program say you want whatever your resolution to be which is a, a let's just say 1920 by 1080 right or we'll do um where is it at 1920 by 1080 right here right full screen performance and then it'll just automatically choose what you what what you want to put it to but you can also put the driver settings to just the certain app basically it's basically like how you could do it on the other app but it's just for or nvidia control panel but it's just for the, the nvidia app now and then basically you just click update and then you should be able to uh it should be good it'll automatically put what you need and then you can just go ahead and go in game if you want to change anything else like the fps and all that but you can also go to global settings now this is just like the nvidia control panel right this exact same settings except it's for nvidia app so basically all you're going to want to do is make sure you have rtx uh dynamic vibrance i'm not sure if this is using more fps at all you can have this on if you want to for to have better uh, quality of picture and basically just better color pretty much and then for cuda gpus just picture you you have this on 3060 ti dsr factors off image sharpening you can have this on if you want but i don't really care to have it on it doesn't really matter but you can low latency mode you can remember you can mess with this you can have this on on or ultra but i have it on ultra just because i mean why not right 
and then max frame rate you can have this to whatever you want a custom frame rate to all games but i would just recommend going inside the game and picking a frame rate that you want because it doesn't even really matter because every game is different right some games are going to run more fps than others and then in monitor technology you can have this on a fixed fixed refresh rate or g-sync compatible doesn't really matter power management mode you have this on prefer max performance make sure you have this on prefer max performance it'll get you the best fps possible and then shader cache size now this is dependent on how big your drive is so if you have a one terabyte drive i would have this on one gig or maybe even five gigs but if you have a less than one terabyte drive 500 gig have this on like 512 megabytes or like even just one gigabyte as well it's all up to you but if you have a super super big drive you could go 10 gigabytes 100 gigabytes all it's going to do is help you get more fps and then vertical sync just use it for the 3d application you don't really have to worry about this either g-sync is always better to use than this this causes way more input delay and then virtual reality just have this off unless you have a virtual reality for um variable super sampling so it's just for um virtual reality so with all those changes inside of video app i'm going to show you guys exactly how what my fps is looking like inside of the game so let's go ahead and get right on into the game all right so as you can see with us loading into a game we're running about five to six hundred fps now this is with the changes as well so i also do have a bunch of other videos on my channel which i'll link after the end of this video and be sure to watch that as well to get even better fps but as you can see it's worth watching it to the end and we're running about 600 fps so it is the end of the video thank you all so much for watching if this video did help you out in absolutely any way don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications and if you aren't already used to support a credit code switchy in the item shop don't forget to pop it in it takes two seconds and yeah i'll see you on the next one stay safe take care and as always stay blessed